going to be filming an empties video and I have not done one of these in a very long time and that is not for lack of trying because I have tried to film two or three of these since Christmas. One I did right before Christmas and I don't know there was something wrong with the lighting the footage was really bad so I didn't film it again because I had already thrown away all the stuff. Um, the last one I think I did, I filmed and the footage became really corrupted on my computer, like when I lost all of my other footage as well because everything became corrupted um, and wouldn't upload, wouldn't let me edit or anything. So that one is gone. And then another one, I think I accidentally deleted like half of the footage. So yeah, it's just been a really rough time with empties videos, so I don't have too terrible much, but I did just film a candles I have used up and what I repurchase as like part of my empties thing I got going on here. Um, because I have a lot of candles that I have used up. So anyway, if you want to see what my empties are for the last however long, then please keep on watching. So the first things I have here are these three lovely bottles. I've got two bottles of Fix Plus from MAC. This stuff I go through like it's water um, because I spray it on my face before I put my makeup on, a couple times during putting my makeup on. I use it to um, wet eyeshadows or pigments or something like that and then I'll spray it on my face once I'm completely done with my makeup. And then this is the MAC Mineralized Charged Water Spray. This I use kind of as like a finishing spray once I've got all of my makeup on. It really just gives a nice hydrated look to my dry skin. So I'm going to actually just set these aside to back to MAC these, which is a really great program from MAC if you don't know about that. It's where you can take back six products at a time and they will give you like a free lipstick at counters or like they do eyeshadows at standalone stores and things like that. Then I have a package of these Gain Flings. I got these with a coupon and they were really inexpensive with said coupon. Um, I wish these came in the Apple Mango Tango scent, which is my favorite scent from Gain, but these were okay. I probably won't purchase them again because, like I said, if I want Gain, I want Apple Mango Tango. Then I used up a really, really big bottle of Downy Unstoppables. I love these. They're my favorite. This pink one is my favorite one in particular. So that's the one I purchase to put in my laundry. What else do I have in here? I used up the Herbal Essences Body Envy Shampoo. Like I said in my favorites video, I have had a really big thing going with orange scents and that's what this smells like. It's a very orangey citrusy scent and I really like that. Um, let me just put this up here. Then I used up a Yes to Grapefruit Correct and Repair Brightening Facial Wipes. These are my favorite ones of all time. I am currently using some by Olay Henriksen and I talked about those again in my August favorites, but these are my favorites of all time. Um, I used up a tea tree water toner from Lush. I love this. I think I'm going to give it a break though because it might be drying out my face a little bit too much. I don't know if this is it. I am going to try to figure that out. Um, then I used up a Caress body wash. This is the burnt brown sugar one. This is an exfoliating one and it smells amazing. And I'm definitely going to repurchase this once I use up some other body washes that I have. I have used up one, two, three, three, four, um, let's see, is that it? Yes, I have used up four bottles of contact solution. Three of them are the clear care one with hydrogen peroxide in them and you put them in this fancy little um, holder thing and it neutralizes the hydrogen peroxide and really really deep cleans your contacts which this stuff is my favorite obviously I've repurchased it a bunch 
And then I just keep like regular contact solution around if I get makeup on my contacts or anything like that. Because like I've said in the past, you can't use this just to clean your contacts, like spot clean them if you need to, um, because it will really, really burn your eyes. Then I used up a couple pairs of Eyelor lashes. These are the Punk Princess ones, and these were the lovely Lolita ones. These are in the Katy Perry range that I don't think they do anymore. I used an e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner. Um, this works really well. I just hate how alcohol E, it smells and I wish it came in a bigger thing because if you're using this daily to clean your brushes you really need a bigger bottle in my opinion. Um, I used up the hair food shampoo by Clairol or no this is the conditioner I finally used up the conditioner I used up the shampoo forever ago um, but I really liked this, and I think once I use up my Carol's Daughter stuff that I have in my shower currently, I'm going to repurchase this. I have two masks of Magna Minty in here from Lush. One is the big pot and one is the little pot. I never get through these before they dry out or expire, especially this one. This one I got closer to being done with than this one, but they definitely expire before I can use them up. So I'm going to save those to take those back to Lush so they can recycle them. Um, I'm getting rid of my Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation because I've had it for over a year now, and I just don't use it very often. I'm also getting rid of this L'Oreal Skin Beautifier BB Cream in the Anti-Fatigue Shade. I really am just sick of turning orange when I try to use this, so it's just going. I also used up the Bath & Body Works Eucalyptus and Spearmint Stress Relief Body Wash. I loved this. I love their like stress relief line. Um, let's see. I also used up a small A Thousand Wishes body wash from Bath & Body Works. I used up this Pure Silk Shave Cream in Sensitive Skin. I don't know. It was alright, not my favorite. It's definitely not my favorite, but I have repurchased it um, in a different scent and I don't like that one either. It's only like a dollar. You can't really go wrong. I used up this Murad Skin smoothing polish. This is a face scrub and I love this face scrub. I will definitely repurchase it once I use up my St. Ives face scrub that I'm currently using. Um, this is the L'Oreal Volume Filler Thickening Shampoo. This dried my hair out so bad. I will never repurchase that ever. Um, I finally used up my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm going to repurchase this after I finish my e.l.f. HD powder because I've decided that I like this more. I used up a Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I used up a sample size of the Better Than Sex Mascara. I used up the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal. And after I use up a couple more mascaras, I am repurchasing this. This is my new favorite mascara. Definitely love this. Definitely think you should go out and get it. The brush on it is kind of huge, like look at that, that's ridiculous, but this, in my opinion, is a great mascara. Um, I also have a sample size of the Clinique Lash Power Mascara. I don't like this on its own, but I like this to really separate my lashes and put over top of other mascaras. Then, let's see, I have used up a sample size of the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, which I'm contemplating buying a full size of that. I used up the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Lash. This is a sample size. I truly and honestly hated this mascara. It felt like it never dried on my eyelashes. Like, never. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen in Universal Light. So it's like a felt tip marker for your eyebrows. Um... This worked for me really well when I had blonde hair, and I don't even know if they make that anymore, to be honest. Um, so, I don't know. I did like it, though. This is the e.l.f. Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. I used both of these on my brows to set my brows. It's alright, especially if you're on a budget. It's only $3, and I do feel like it kept my brows in place. 
Um, this is a sample size of the Model Co. Volume Eyes Mascara. No. I hated this mascara. I'm not even going to use it, so I'm just getting rid of it. I used it a couple times to try and give it a go. It just was not working for me. Um, this is the Dior Show Dior... What? Dior Show Maximizer Lash Primer. This is what the brush looks like. I hated this crap. It just made my lashes look really thick, like thick spider legs. It was, it was gross. Um, I used up a Vidal Sassoon hair care thing. This is the conditioner that comes in like boxes of dye. And then I used up a Crest 3D White Glamorous White. The 3D White is my favorite toothpaste, and that is the one that I use all the time. This is a Be A Bombshell Felt Tip Really Fat Eyeliner Marker that I'm just getting rid of. I never use it. I don't like felt tip markers. I prefer, like, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, which is a brush tip. Um, I have a couple samples of... This Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation in here. I obviously have purchased a full size of this because I love it so much. Um, this was the Thirsty Mud from Glam Glow, their cleanser. It was alright, not my favorite. Um, then I've used up like two or three of these samples of the Soy Face Cleanser from Fresh. Very, very gentle cleanser. It works really well when my skin just needs something to very gently cleanse it um, or is having a hard time. <laughs> I have a sample of this Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. I've also purchased a full size of this. I highly recommend this product. Then I have a Victoria's Secret Pro Smooth Effects Lip Scrub and Balm. So in the bottom part, you get the lip scrub. In the top part, you get a balm. I've had this for so long. It finally, I went to use it the other day, and it was just dried out. It was done. So it's going in the trash. Um, I'm getting rid of this JLo perfume. This is Glow. I have had this since I was a freshman in high school, and that was like 10 years ago. And it really, I went to wear it the other day, and it just does not smell the same, so it's obviously gone bad. Here's the other little packet of the Ole Henriksen moisturizer. This is the It's So Big by Elizabeth Mott. Um, this did not work on my lashes. I thought it would because I really liked how the brush was and the shape of the brush. Um, I had another one of these that was unopened, so I gave it to my little sister, and she loved it. I've got a few more concealers and stuff in here. I've got the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes sample. I loved that. Definitely want to purchase a full size of that. I'm getting rid of this Model Co. blush in Peach Bellini because if you saw in a Get Ready With Me, it completely busted and just went everywhere. I've got another one of these contact cases and then a Clarisonic brush head. This is just the normal one. Then I've got my Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. I have a Kat Von D Trooper liner, which lasted me a really long time. And again, this one is a brush tip. I could honestly probably get a couple more uses out of this, but it just skips so bad because I've used most of the product in there. This is a Sephora lipstick that I'm getting rid of. It's super old um, and I've had it for so long and it's got it just smells funny. This is a Yabby foundation in the shade Buff. I've had this for a really long time too, so I'm just tossing it. Um, this is a concealer balm from CoverGirl and Olay. Ugh, these kinds of things just don't really work for me. I don't know what I was thinking when I purchased this, so it's just going. And then I completely used up this Rimmel Match Perfection in the shade 230 Fair which was too dark for like highlighting under my eyes, which is what I wanted, but it was great for concealing around my face. And that is everything. Yay! So that was like me just rambling through my empties because I knew I had a lot. Um, so what are some of the things that you've used up that you really liked and have repurchased a million times? Because I would like to know. To be completely honest, I would really like to know. Anyway, 
Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me ramble about my empties, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.